Hi, I'm John Roman M. Flores, BSIT1, and I'm going to present the topic, Sixth Sense Technology, New Reality. The modern era is ruled by computers. Computers have become an indispensable part in almost every field. With the passage of time, many things have changed, and many new things have come into limelight, and computers are no such exceptions. Scientists are trying to develop a technology to connect the physical world with the digital world. Humans are blessed with five senses, which perform their specific function. Like senses, enables us to perceive information about the environment in every different place. There could be another sense which would enable us to sense the things which are beyond the logical arena. Six sense technology can replace every task through hand gestures. Using hand gestures, we can zoom in or zoom out or pan like any other multi-touch system does. Steve Mann is considered as the father of Six Sense technology, who made a wearable computer in 1990. He implemented the Six Sense technology as the neck-worn projector with a camera system. Then his work was carried forward by Pranav Mistriv, an Indian research assistant in MIT Media Lab. He came up with exciting new application with this technology. It is a technology which is aimed to interpret human gestures with the help of mathematical algorithm. Gesture recognition technique basically based on the emotion recognition from face and the hand gesture recognition. It allows humans to interact with computer in a more direct way without using any external interfacing devices. It can provide a much better alternative to text user interfaces and graphical user interfaces, which requires the need of keyboard or mouse to interact with the computer. In the Sixth Sense technology, the use of various equipment are camera to capture the image of the object, which is found in its view and it can considered as digital eye. Projector is used to project the visual inf information on to the surface and the objects, making them as physical interfaces. Mirror is used for the purpose of adjusting the angle between the projector and the screen. It reflects the rays coming from the projector onto the screen. A smartphone with an access to the internet is used in order to access the video data. Colored cups are placed on the tips of the user's fingers. They are marked with red, yellow, green, and also blue, blue tapes. This helps the camera to recognize the gestures. All these hardware components are further coupled in a pendant. There are various applications of Sixth Sense, which exhibit the Efficiency, viability, and facility of the system. First one, making a call. Instead of carrying a cell phone in hand, a person can project the keypad on his palm and make calls by just touching the digital keys and press the keys. The information of the dialer would be projected on the device. The map, the map application allows the user to navigate a map displayed in nearby surfaces by using a hand gesture. 3D drawing application. The drawing application of this device allows the user to draw on any surface by tracking the tips of movement of the user's index finger. The, click, the, the user simply needs to make a gesture of a circle on the risk and the clock with the current time will be projected on the user's hand. Motion capture. Using fingers, the user can capture photos. These photos could be edited also or shared with people. 
The taken image can easily be resized and edited whenever needed for the projection on any hard surfaces. Video newspaper. This device also recognizes articles in the newspaper in the form of a video. It can retrieve the latest related stories or video stream from the internet and then display them on the pages for the user. Book information. For book lovers, it has proved to be a boon as you just open any book and find the rating of the book. This makes things easier, time efficient. People can easily decide whether to go for that book or look for another book and thus saving precious time. Getting flight update. The device can also tell the user whether the flight is delayed or is on time by looking at the tickets giving complete information by what time it is delayed. Quality check. In shopping malls, one can easily check the quality of food. With this technology, quality and reviews of other products they wish to buy. It increases the profits and services to the customer. Every technology available in the market faces some severe security threats. With Sixth devices, there are also some security concerns which include having no privacy, opening intelligence doors for criminals, generating a tool for hackers, threatening the cyber security, and having health issues. More importantly, Sixth Sense could be used as a weapon for mass destruction. Argumented Reality is the technology which can act as a bridge with the physical world and the digital world. Augmented reality bridges, bridges virtual worlds with the real world. The concept of augmented reality can be combined with six sense in order to have multitasking gadgets that can re reduce the burden of on machine. As more and more Sixth Sense technology will penetrate, the task for human will become simpler and efficient. As Sixth Sense technology helps us to recognize the objects around us and provide us the information, we need simply by the use of our hand gestures and without the help of any type of gadget has become a real game changer as it will introduce us to the new reality. It offers a lot of potential in terms of helping a lot of people to their daily lives, making things much more interesting and creative in so many ways and as much as they want it to be. This also will help the handicapped people as this can replace or enhance their fifth sense. Six sense technology can make our lives much easier, organized, and comfortable. Comparing to many technologies to make our lives easier today, this one is different, as it will make us to stay more human and making us stay connected to our physical world rather than that of being machine sitting in front of also a machine. That is all. Again, I'm John Rommel M. Flores, PSIT1. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.